Welcome back. In this short video I'm going to show you how I put the central section of the RD350 crank back together. First we need the right tools. Um, well, when we press the, the centre pin into the centre hole we need something to stop the pin coming past the flush edge. So we can set one edge at flush and how I do that is I use this um, it's a standard Suzuki um, valve shim and that fits in just nicely underneath so the pin presses against both sides of that shim basically so it can't let it come past so we'll mount that onto the uh, onto the plate now this plate now this plate is a, a titanium plate and it's perfectly flat which is another thing that you need you need a perfectly flat surface you can use normal the normal press plates but they're never accurate but these ones here have been, these ones have been, these ones underneath have been ground, <clears throat> so that I know that's perfectly square. So with that shim underneath there, we'll press in the uh, the first half of the uh, centre pin into that centre web, making sure that that shim's in place underneath, perfectly square. So we'll put that one in first. get it as close as you can vertically before you uh, see it see it started to rock there rock into position so you get it perfect so that there I can feel that that's starting to go in now by my finger against the side here this one this is just for the training purposes of this video it's, this isn't a, a, a finished job but this is how the procedure's done we'll push that all the way in quite an easy procedure to do but uh, it's worth spending some time to get it perfect before you you go on to the next stage so that should be down there I feel the tonnage going on I'm actually at 10 tons there so we'll release that and show you and if you look with that little shim off you'll see that that's perfectly flat now perfectly level with the inside of that well there so again put the the shim back because you're going to need that shim again to stop that pin from coming through when you press the other half on so it sits in nicely there next stage is to press in the the other half 180 degrees off from the other one and as you can see on here, you can see my marks, I've highlighted them a bit better. How I line those up is, I get the old sturdy V-block, put that on that flat surface, then use this edge, this machined edge, to line up those two marks on the crankshaft there. I'll, I'll zoom in slightly so you can see better. You should be able to see those two marks which are just here on the crankshaft so I'll put the I'll turn that round until those two marks are like lined up perfectly square it needs to come round slightly like one notch that's a bit too much it's worth taking your time to do this bit as you can see there the two lines are perfectly in line now and then just carefully placing a, a pressing wedge which uh, I can choose anyone's piece put that underneath then line the ram try and get that in the middle if you can and double check the marks again just here you'll see they're perfect there so now use the double speed ram to quickly just centralize it just got to get everything perfect before you you commit yourself to pressing so you don't have to press it out again so put that down make sure that's just touching before you press use the 
edge, straight edge there on the two lines, you'll see they're perfect now. And then just put a little bit more pressure on and double check, which is spot on there. So now press the other half on and that'll give that, that makes them 180 degrees out. Just before you finish, take the magnetic block out of the way and then just check it with your vernier gauge to get your central measurement correctly which is 50mm on this, on this model. So I'll quickly set that to 50mm. Plus or minus 2 won't matter. 50, 50 that, and double check that when you're coming down. And that's actually there, 50 mil spot on now. 50 millimeters, 49.96 on these two in the so machined edges. So that should be where we need it. I'll just double check. That's it, that's it done. That's as easy as it is to do the central crank. You can see the two, the two marks there. I'll zoom out slightly. And there they are. So that's as simple as that. And uh, you must make sure that you mark it first. So thank you all again for watching. Bye for now.